All right. At this time, I would like to call the meeting of the Sacramento Metropolitan Fire District's Finance and Audit Committee uh, together. This is a special meeting for Thursday, December 14th. And at uh, this moment, could you please call the roll? Do I have a motion and a second for the consent agenda calendar? Second. Excellent. I'll, uh, yeah, motion, second. Director Rosali? And Director Kelly. Aye. Motion passes. All right. Uh, so the uh, consent calendar is taken care of. Presentation items. Uh, Mr. Empedrad, uh, please proceed. Good evening, directors, Good evening, directors chiefs. Uh, Ron Empedrad, controller for the district, and I'm here to present the district's um, financial reports for the first four months ended. October 31st, 2017. To start off, let's look at, sorry. To start off, uh, let's look at the district's cash balance as of October 31st. Uh, right around September, the district goes from a positive cash balance to a negative cash balance, and it's when we avail of the County of Sacramento's line of credit otherwise known as dry period funding. So we'll be negative for the next few months until we hit January in which um, we'll be receiving the first allocation of um, property taxes. And for the rest of the fiscal year, we'll be positive all the way. Um, as of October 31, the district is um, at a negative $6.9 million of um, cash balance, and that's for all funds. And suffice it to say that at this point, we are on the same level where we're at um, one year ago. Now, we're looking at reserves, this is only for the main operating fund of the district, which is the general fund. Uh, sim similar to the cash balance trends in the previous slide, um, the district is at, is at a deficit as of October 31st. Um, we have a deficit of $29.5 million, and that's, again, mainly due to the fact that we haven't recorded property taxes at this point. Um, by the end of December 31, we will be able to record our property taxes and our fund balance will go up. And then for the next three months, it will slowly be used up until we get um, our, f our second property tax allocation sometime in April. And we project that by the end of the year, um, we will be at about $23.7 million in uh, fund reserves. Um, I'd like to point out, though, that this $23.7 million is based on uh, unaudited beginning fund balance, as well as uh, taking into consideration the final budget. Uh, we just f uh, recently finished our um, financial audit for fiscal year 2016 and 17, and the results of which will be presented in the next board meeting. And also in the next finance committee meeting, we will be updating the beginning fund um, balance as of July 1. That means that the 23 no, 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 points. No, 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 no. Excuse me. Should I go Please. back? No, continue. Okay. That means that um, uh, as soon as the update happens, uh, that $23.7 million will change. At this point, though, um, compared to one year ago, our fund balance levels are the same or comparable with prior year. Looking at our medic um, EMS collections, um, the blue line represents the budget line, which is about $36.5 million. Green line is our prior year um, collections, and the red line is our actual collections. As of October 31, our actual collections for EMS billings is $10.1 million. Obviously, from the graph, it's well below the budget line. However, it's too early to say, or, um, to say that we are trending below budget, uh, mainly because of a couple of things. Uh, the budget, the blue budget line is constructed with the assumption that um, all medic uh, collections is evenly distributed throughout the month, I mean, throughout the years. And also that um, recently the board approved uh, an EMS rate increase, effective September 1, the results of which uh, we won't likely see until the next financial report. And finally, I also spoke to our um, third party uh, billing company, and they stated that about um, $3.3 million of receivable, receivables are sitting, um, which at this point should have been collected already, but are still sitting as receivables because of several reasons, primarily due to delays in the processing in 
uh, on the side of the, um, of the medical plans. But at this point, as of October 31, the $10.1 million is uh, comparable to what we had um, in the prior year. Looking at total revenues, uh, we budgeted $196.6 million. We collected an actual amount of $13.9 million. Again, we are on track if you look at it on the overall perspective. Uh, turning over to salaries and benefits, which is the main expenditure of the district, uh, we budgeted $164 million for the entire year. Um, actual expenditures incurred so far is $55 million. Again, no surprise here, uh, we're right on track. In fact, if you look at our total expenditures, um, we, bu we budgeted $197.7 million. Actual is $68.2 million. Again, no surprises, right on track. Now, looking at the SERP fund, which is the vehicle we have to pre-fund uh, our retiree medical benefits, um, let me just point out that the balances here are not reflected in our cash balance. Um, as of October 31, cash or the SERP fund balance is about $30.4 million, um, which came from $25.5 million of contributions and earnings of about $4.8 million. This current performance uh, actually reflects uh, what is going on in the global investment markets, which at this point is they're at an all-time high. Uh, this goes without saying, though, that uh, we, the fund is not... Um, is not immune to downswings in the market. However, uh, the fund was constructed with a, with a long-term uh, perspective in mind, so uh, we should be able to ride the upswings and downswings in the market. However, to put things into perspective, uh, in the recent study, the most recent study completed by our actuary, um, we have uh, an AAL or actuarial accrued liability, which is defined as the total, total dollars required to fund all retiring medical benefits or OPEB, attributable to services rendered by our current and retired um, members. At this, um, as of July 1, 2015, is about $227 million. Given that we have a 30 million SERP fund, that puts us right, right around 13% of uh, funding level. And although it may look small, but um, um, in my opinion, uh, we are on the right track of fully funding our um, um, OPEB down the line. So in summary, uh, for the first four months ended October 31, uh, revenues and expenses are generally on track with what we would have expected in the first four months of the fiscal year. Um, we have a, a deficit of about $54.3 million, which is expected. Cash balance and reserves are comparable to the prior year. And then the SERF funds, um, they actually are riding the all-time high that we have right now in the global investment markets. That concludes my report. Um, I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. Any questions of uh, either of you? No? Well, I wanted to thank you for your report, uh, Mr. Empedrad, and uh, we look forward to uh, getting over the dry funding period, correct? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Takes no action. So our next meeting is scheduled for January 25th. Uh, no, uh, no anticipated items listed. Anything from uh, the group? No? Well, then we will proceed to close.